want to tell you about a man called Joseph. He was famous for lots of things. You might know about his coat of many colours, but you might not know that he was honest, hard-working and learned to do the right thing even when it was very hard. That's called integrity. So let's hear the story about Joseph. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers because they didn't like him. The slave traders took Joseph to Egypt and he started working for a man called Potiphar, who was a very important government officer. Now, Joseph started off doing the rubbish jobs like cleaning the toilets, but because he worked so hard and because God helped him to do it all well, he eventually got promoted to the boss of the house and everyone worked for Joseph. Isn't that amazing success? Potiphar's wife also noticed how great Joseph was and she tried to trick him. Joseph decided to do the right thing even though he knew it would make things difficult for him. And it did. Potiphar's wife was very, very angry with Joseph and she actually told some lies and had him thrown into prison. One day, Joseph was in a cell, minding his own business. Psst. Joseph, wake up. What? Is it, is it morning already? I had a terrible dream last night. Didn't you say you understood dreams? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, what, what time is it anyway? It doesn't matter. Listen, I dreamed there was a vine in front of me and there were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed and grapes grew on it. I took the grapes and squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup and gave it to him. Joseph listened to the dream. God listened too. Then he whispered the dream's meaning into Joseph's ear. Well, three branches are three days. Within three days, you'll get out of prison and go back to work for Pharaoh, serving his drinks just like you used to. And Butler, will you do me a favor? When you get out, will you get Pharaoh to release me because I've done nothing wrong. a terrible dream. Can somebody help me to understand what it means? Does nobody have any idea what my dream means? Excuse me, your majesty, but I remember when I was in prison, there was a man called Joseph who told us exactly what our dreams meant and everything happened just as he said. Well, what are you waiting for? Go and send for Joseph. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph, who had been waiting in prison for two long years. And after he had shaved and cleaned himself, he went to Pharaoh. So, Joseph, I hear you can tell me what my dream means. Well, to be honest, your highness, I can't tell you what your dream means, but God can give you the answer. Very well, here's what I dreamed. I was standing next to the river Nile when there were seven cows that came out of the river and there was eating on the banks. There was healthy and fat. But then seven ugly skinny cows came out and stood next to them. And the skinny cows, they ate the fat cows. God whispered in Joseph's ear. Joseph listened. Then he bowed and said, Your Majesty, for the next seven years, Egypt will grow many good crops and be as fat as those fat cows you saw. But for the next seven years, hardly any food will grow at all. So unless you want your people to look like those skinny cows, you must store up all the food from the good years and use it wisely later. Pharaoh was so impressed with Joseph's answer that he not only let him stay out of prison, but he put him in charge of storing and saving and serving out Egypt's food. Seven good years were followed by seven bad. And after the Pharaoh, 
Joseph became the most important man in Egypt. Wow. Joseph went through a lot of ups and downs. Being sold as a slave, then being put in charge of Potiphar's house, then being thrown into prison when he didn't deserve to be, and then being brought out of prison to tell the Pharaoh bad news about the famine, which must have been very scary. And then he was made second most important person in Egypt. Through all of that, God was with Joseph. Joseph had integrity, which means he always did the right thing, even if it was hard. Think about a time when you knew what the right thing to do was, but it's hard for you and you needed to show integrity. I will end this act of collective worship by saying a prayer. If you agree with my prayer, you may say Amen at the end. It is a way of saying to God, I agree, that you want my prayer to be your prayer too. But you don't have to pray. If you don't want to, or you don't think you should, it is perfectly acceptable to sit quietly and think about what you have just heard. Dear God, please help us to be like Joseph who did the right thing, even when it was hard. Help us to do the right thing too, even when it is hard. Amen. <laughs>